TitleMatchNetwork.com. How huge do you think a true DX versus original NW feud would be? How big for business? Now, sold out hanging from the rafters. We'd have the straps. <laughs> no, I mean, I, it, back when we talked about it at that thing in Manhattan, that comedy club thing. Yeah. That was, that was when everybody was talking about it. Because DX was hot then. Right. And they needed opponents. And we were free. But, you know, I don't know. It's, it's all, you know, it's time gone by. I think those people wrestling each other, I mean, Kevin and I wrestling, you know, Hunter and Sean. And the, what I thought was sweet about the angle is you have Kid who was in both factions. So he'd be the wild card. It could, it could have been some interesting stuff. It's probably still good, you know, but. I don't think I want to work that hard anymore to tell you the fucking truth, <laughs> no, brother, <laughs> anymore. How would you guys have booked WCW Invasion Angle different than Vince did? When we came back? Not when you came back, when, when he bought WCW and, and a oh, lot of the guys entered the company. I wait to wait to fucking have, have, the w, have WCW, have the guys besides, you know, have them just Booker T and, and Dallas. Shane, Shane McMahon called me then. I had called him to thank him for, is that when Kid, the kid went to rehab or something? I don't know, I called Shane or something to the fact, I said, hey, thanks for taking care of my buddy and all that. And he, he said, well, actually, uh, Paul did that, and I was out of his own pocket. And I said, well, anyway, thank you. He's like a little brother to me or something. Thank you very much. He said, well, hey, uh, hey uh, here you go to Japan. I said, yeah, I just want to find out if I even want to work anymore. He goes, well, you know, uh, we, you know, you always got a place here, you know, but of course we might have to, you know, put you on that good boy clause, you know. So I went, well, you know, I'll talk to you when I get back. I came back, I got over, I had a great tour in Japan. They offered me a contract the second day. And I'm like, you can't afford me, can you? <laughs> I must say, you don't, you know, probably not. <laughs> but anyway, I get back, Shane calls. All right, and he goes, how go in Japan? I said, you mean you didn't hear? He goes, yeah, I heard it. He goes, I said, you know what? I still love wrestling, and you know what? I'm real fucking good at it. And he went, uh, no. And I said, you know that good boy class? F that. <laughs> but I told him, I said, I don't want to be lost in the shuffle with a million other guys coming in. Right. And see, the, like Kev just said, and anybody that the fans would have associated with WCW, all the top guys, Stay. our contracts were, weren't transferable. You know, you couldn't buy like we most of us we had 11, 11 to sixteen months left on deals. This is what killed me was when I got when when I was offered it was like um, I think my last year my contract there was like two point four something like that because I had like I had worked some other little incentives into it. So like basically tell me we'll give you fifty cents on the dollar. All right, so I'm giving you back I'm giving you back a million three, and then you're going to guarantee me. 750 of that back downside. And if I go on the road and bust my fucking ass, I might be able to make back to where I was if I sit home and watch TV and smoke pot. Well, gee, let me think. What'd you uh, do, Jeff? I said, I'll watch TV. <laughs> you, were, you were about to tell me you did. Didn't uh, Sting? A lot of guys in the Sting. Sting and Goldberg, they all sat home. Good. Scott Goldberg, Steyer. Goldberg went to Vince, man. He no, he didn't go to the he didn't. He came out. He got all this? I thought he, he got all Fuck no, he got all his. Were you surprised about Goldberg when he went to Vince? How did he get over and how he was pretty much hated there? Yeah, but it was, you know, I've always, I've always said that, that the whole, uh, the whole there wasn't anybody that got over. You weren't allowed to get over because it was like, why would you let it? It was like the, the Civil War was over. It's, it'd been, what, five, eight months, a year since the Civil War was over. And what, you're going to go let a Confederate guy fucking have your belt? That wasn't going to happen. I mean, they, they bastardized and beat everybody that came over there. Like, we came over as NWO. We got over. And they killed it. They killed it. And, you know, I just like, and I, I looked at it and I said, you know what? I said, this is telling us they weren't. Yeah, this isn't about business. This is about, this is petty bullshit. And, you know, it wasn't about money. Fuck you. It was power. And, you know. Yeah. This is what it was. Got your back. This is a learning yeah, experience. Yeah, yeah. You got us back. Way to go. <laughs> I was going to ask you my next question. If the NWO was ever brought back, would you guys ever want any kind of road schedule again at this point in your lives? I, I, Occasionally, it's all right. Working. Vince gave me, I was only working 10 days a month for Vince when I did go where we were in 12. I was only 12. They weren't working that much more. Anyway, after we left, everything changed. You know, yeah. They, when we left, like you said earlier, they never had two top guys go, no, thank you. Yeah, well, we're going, Man, we're going down there because they get days off. 
Yeah, I didn't even care about the money. Not only that, but you get that, days off. Yeah, not only that, though, you knew exactly what you were making, so you could actually financially plan for a year. Mm-hmm. I remember telling this, I man, I, I work too hard to be fighting with my old lady about furniture. I got caught and go, what I get for Royal Rumble? Well, you got the X amount. I told you not to buy that couch. We can't afford it. <laughs> right. It was it was it was it was a rough life back then. If you guys were to change the business in any way, what would you do differently today compared to uh back in the uh, 80s and 90s? I mean, do you guys think that wrestling needs to go back to characters like Diesel and Razor? No. I think production. I'm saying I'm so fucking you know. Where did I mean? And I just look at little little tiny things about you know when you when you're at. Uh, an environment where there's 350 channels and you're going through and you're going and you stop at this show and it's this single camera shot you know everything that's backstage is done with this single camera there's no turnarounds there's no point of views it's it's a it's a two as a standard high def two shot of a, of a handheld and i look at that and i say you know from just a you know when you watch real world fucking sydney and you know, there's there's throwing these. I mean, it's just like at what point does does the production not pick up? Did you did you notice one thing that Vince does in particular on his backstage things now that he never did when we were there? There are people in the hall in the background. I, no. Bobby Heenan used to always go, "Why are because clear the background?" If, if they were shooting you walking down the hallway, there would never be any crew guys, there would never be any other wrestlers, there would never be. And Bobby Heenan used to always. God, that was one of always mentioned that. And now, I don't know. All of a sudden, though, I notice that it always makes me think about Bobby, you know. Who did you guys, do you guys think your promos would have been as good if they were scripted like they were today in WWE? Absolutely not. That's what's wrong with the show. I don't think we're all about that fucking show is the name of it. That's Remember when we got there? Yeah. They would make you rehearse. Should be Monday Night Contrived. They, Welcome to Monday Night Contrived! And they would take, when we got there at the end of the other thing, they would Make us rehearse in front of Vince and stuff. Yeah, in front of Vince. And he'd, he'd go now, and, and that was when they'd say stuff, and he'd go, You got to remember now, they're going to go, What? Every time you say something, that when Austin's what thing was over, what? Title Match Network.com.